Hey Lemons, welcome back to another video of mine. So, for this video, I wanted to talk about something that's been going on in Animal Jam lately. A topic that a few jammers pointed out to me when I asked to make a video idea. And that topic is how the shop prices are ruining the worth of items and or pets and or other stuff on Animal Jam. And honestly, I didn't even know that this was a thing. I didn't know it was happening. I wasn't aware of this at all. But so many people left a comment on my community post and I was just so curious as to why. So obviously it's a pretty big deal if I got a few people telling me to do a my shop video, a my shop pros and cons, or a my shop cons only because a lot of people only think it's negative. But some people do think there is pros to it and I more or less do agree with the pros, but I also do agree with the cons as well. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons and just kind of how overall the my shop prices are ruining the worth of certain rares and items on Animal Jam. So with that all in mind, I'm Lean Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get started with the video. So it kind of started with the one person, Shark. They asked me how shop prices are ruining worth of items slash pets. And I was confused as to what they said, so I sent them a reply asking kind of like what happened and has the price limit changed on the my shops? Because I honestly didn't really use my shops a lot to even know if the price changed. And yes, apparently the max has gone up to 5k sapphires now and a lot has changed and apparently people are selling like decent rares for only like low amount of sapphires, which kind of devalues them as a rare and beta and kind of makes it so trading isn't as exciting or worth it to even trade anymore at that point because you could just buy it at a my shop and it's kind of sad to see that happen because I feel like on Animal Jam having a lot of sapphires and sapphire items were separated from having betas and rares but it's almost like intertwining with each other now so it's like you can pay to win now it was never a pay to win game, rares were their own thing, but now it feels like you can kind of just buy your way out with some of these items. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Another person who left a comment was Miles. They said, can you talk about how the sale things in dens are ruining the value of items? And I asked them kind of the same response as the other person. And apparently they're talking about classic AJ. So I guess it's happening on Animal Jam Classic. For those of you who don't know, I don't actually play Classic, so I really, really can't, like, say what's going on. I, I can't say much over here, but to hear that it's happening over on Classic as well, well, that's definitely unfortunate, and I'm sorry to hear that for anyone who that's affecting. It seems to be happening on both Playwild and Classic, which is quite unfortunate, actually. But yeah, basically, the My Shop prices are ruining the worth of items on Animal Jam. It's happening, and a lot of people are taking notice to that. And it kind of just like almost makes you not want to trade anymore. And it's not as fun to trade anymore. Like I remember for myself, like just the grind of trading, going to fancy shorts or cheap strong clouds, like, and just trading and finally getting an item. Like it, it just, it felt so important. It felt so valid when I actually finally received that said beta item. But I feel like now for a high price, you could kind of just buy that item that I maybe worked for back in the day. And to think that it's just kind of sad because it's like, I could just pay my own money to get that item, but it's like back in the day, I had to work for it. And I feel like it just devalues those items for that reason. And also, another thing that's been happening is since the max went up so much, apparently like sapphire shops and people have been using them so much, it's just been happening so much that actually certain things are going down for way less than what they used to be for. So a lot of rare pets and items that used to be like for the max limit, which back in the day, I think the max limit was around like 1.5k, but I could be wrong on that. And I don't really remember because honestly, I didn't use my shops a lot, but um, I know the max now is 5k. So obviously it's went up a lot from what it used to be. But basically back in the day, items and stuff that used to be really good used to go for the max limit. And that was kind of like a deal back in the day. But apparently now they go for way less, not even the max limit now, like just like the 1.5k. But now they go down for like way less, like ranging from like 400 or 500 sapphires. And it's just like crazy to even consider that, I guess. Like these are rare items on the game. Rare items that people are trading for and working for and that people want and they're hard to get. And it's just 
you could buy them for maybe 400 or 500 sapphires now like i just don't understand that it's almost hard to process that through my head i don't really like that it's like kind of a pay to win thing now like I understand that it's a cool concept, and at first, when it first happened, I really liked it. I was like, oh, this is amazing, this is a great idea. But now that I'm seeing all these negatives, it's almost making me feel like this isn't such a great idea, and that it's actually kind of ruining Animal Jam in certain aspects. But there's also the pros that come along with the My Shops, and there is pros, obviously. With everything, there's pros and cons. And in the My Shop, there is pros, as I was saying. You can buy things with sapphires. I mean, I know I was just kind of saying that that's not a good thing, but if you think about it, that's amazing. Like right now I could go on and someone could be like, go check out my, my shop and I could go to their den and I could find a cool dinosaur for pretty cheap. And that'd be awesome, I'd be so happy. But it's also like, you're happy in the moment, but really it's devaluing these items and these rare pets and you don't know it in the moment, but it is and it makes you almost get bored and not want to trade anymore. And it's kind of just sad because trading is such a big aspect to Animal Jam and its game. So taking that away almost makes it feel like weird. Like that's a big part of Animal Jam, trading and offering for items and working your way up. These my shops are kind of taking that aspect away and it's almost kind of weird and I'm not sure how I feel about it. But another pro would be that you can make sapphires quite easily. Um, obviously, I've been kind of using the My Shops lately, and I've been kind of making a lot of sapphires, uh, yeah, for sure. But also at the same time, do I fully agree with the My Shops? <sighs> Not really, but like, they're there, so I'm gonna use them, right? So yes, I do use My Shops, and you guys can go check out my, my shop if you really want to. It's in my den, and my den is always usually unlocked unless I need it locked for a certain video reason. I have some like paintings of my main look, I have some pets, and I have some random additional items. And I try to give fair prices for what they all are, and usually my stuff sells pretty quickly. So I hope that I'm pretty fair with everything, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I just feel like lately it's been pretty crazy with the My Shops and the Sapphires, and especially with the Dinosaur Craze, it's really not helping either, because obviously the dinosaurs were very expensive, so everyone wants to buy them for cheap. So everyone's buying them from cheap in the stores. Almost like you're like, why would you sell it for cheaper? But it's because they don't like the color. So they just want to get rid of it at that point. And also with the My Shops, yeah, you can sell for gems too. But sapphires play such a massive role in the shops that the gems almost seem pointless. Like, why are you selling things for gems? Gems are so easy to get. I have so much gems. I wouldn't even be concerned. I could buy so many things from the store right now and I would still have a lot of gems. But sapphires, sapphires can go down pretty quickly. So you want to make a lot of sapphires. So obviously when it comes to a my shop, are you either going to do it for a lot of gems or a little bit of sapphires? You're going to choose sapphires. Regardless of anything, you're going to choose sapphires and just put it down to what's fair. And that's just the case. And I feel like there is the occasional time where someone will have it for gems, but really like it's usually for sapphires. Like when I go to someone's shop, I usually see their stuff being sold for sapphires only. That's honestly all I had to talk about in this video. I kind of tried to summarize everything going on and like what people have been saying and the kind of the problem and my pros, I only really had two, which is you can get sapphires really quick, which is a nice aspect and that you can buy things really easily and it's exciting, but kind of just for the moment because when it comes down to it obviously the negatives being that it's like it's kind of devaluing trading and offering and working up for rares and it's kind of making those rare items go down in value because it's like you can just easily buy them for sapphires why are you going to even trade for them it's just kind of sad and i really hope that trading doesn't keep getting worse from here on out i hope that something happens where it can take a spike and keep being popular and all that but for now we just don't know and I hope you liked my little ramble. I don't want this video to be too, too long, so I'll definitely end it here. It's been Lean Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys all next time.